There's no doubt that She-Hulk is one of the worst things on TV right now. It would be the worst if it weren't for Rings of Power. That absolutely takes the cake. But episode six of She-Hulk, essentially nothing happened. And they proved once again that they care far more about shit-talking their audience than they do about actually entertaining people. Instead of actually trying to entertain people, what they've done for the second time now is they've taken time out of a 20-minute episode to shit on fans, to shit on us. That's really what they're doing. The reason we have such engaged audiences right now is because both in entertainment and politically, things are so fucked up. Like yeah. people have a lot to be angry about right now. It's kind of sad that that's where we're at. We're not sitting here talking about the good things that, that are happening. When they do, we talk about it. But for the most part, the entertainment landscape is just a hellhole. I went through a whole mourning period with this because I don't want bad Marvel movies. I, I don't want bad Star Wars movies. I want good movies. I was raised in the 80s and 90s. We, we were always at the movie theaters slash arcades, and I don't want to see bad shit. But these idiots keep going in this direction, and they keep uh, quadrupling down. And the last couple of years, I've just kind of given up, and I don't expect anything good to come from any of these outlets but it's bolstered my happiness level, I guess, because uh, guys like you are making content that I want to watch. I don't want to watch She-Hulk. And I wish She-Hulk was a good show, but <laughs> I want to watch you guys tear it down. <laughs> and, and watching uh, you guys explain to me what's going on on a show that I'm not going to watch, I'm still getting that content. Like I'm still getting my Marvel content. It's just I'm getting it from people who aren't at Marvel. So I'd yep. much rather uh, send you guys views and and support than these asshats over at Marvel Studios. Well, yeah, and, if you and want to maintain your sanity, don't watch She Hulk. <laughs> that, that show will drive you insane. It's yeah. so bad, and and it, they take it to another level. As obviously you know, Salty, and everybody here on the panel knows, but they take it to another level where it's not just a bad show. It's a bad show that's actively telling you that they hate your guts. Yeah. That's the whole problem here. Is that there's a difference in a bad show, and I talked about this with the Last Jedi when I first started criticizing that. Was I can accept a bad movie. If you try to make a movie and it ends up not being a good movie, okay, whatever. It, it wasn't good. I didn't like it. It was the fact that they blamed the fans for their problem. And then they started labeling everybody racist and sexist, and we all knew how that went. And that's where my big problem happened. It wasn't that I didn't like the movie. It was that I didn't like the movie, but you also told me I was the problem. That was where it kind of crossed over to the line. And it wasn't the first time we had seen it, but it was the first time we'd seen it on that level. And it just has continued every single time you have a bad show or a bad movie. Movie. The fans are racist. They're sexist. They hate men. They hate literally they hate anyone that doesn't line up with them, but they love to target men and white men specifically. It's a crazy world we're living in clown world to a level that it's hard to believe where we're at at this point in time. It really is. The yeah. show doesn't care about the male audience. If you're not a woman in her late 30s uh, that doesn't have a man that's sitting there trying to figure out a way to feed your cat, you're not their audience.